Today, we are going to learn how to tie a tie. The Windsor Knot, also known as the Full or Double Windsor, is one of the most popular ways to tie a tie. The Windsor Knot has a wide, symmetrical base that fits any formal occasion. Surely to impress in the workplace, on a date or at any formal event. Step 1. Drape the tie around your neck so the wide end is over your right shoulder. Pull the tie around your neck so the narrow end comes down to the middle of your chest. Make sure the tie is facing right side up and you're holding the wide end in your right hand. The length of your tie on each side may vary depending on the length of the tie and how long you want it to be. Try different lengths to see what works best. If you're left-handed, start with the wide end over your left shoulder instead. Tip. Full Windsor knots are large, so they work best for wide collared shirts. Step 2. Cross the wide end over the narrow end near your collar. Hold the narrow end of the tie in place with your left hand while you bring the wide end over it. Try to keep the point where they overlap close to your collar so the knot stays tight. Your tie will look like a large X. Don't make the tie too tight where it's difficult to breathe or swallow. Step 3. Loop the wide end through the neck loop of the tie. Pull the wide end of the tie up toward your head, and slide it underneath the part of your tie wrapped around your neck. Pull the wide end back down over the neck loop to tighten one side of the knot. Make sure the wide end is right side up and on top. Practice tying your tie in front of a mirror to make it easier to see what you're doing. Step 4. Bring the wide end underneath the knot. Grab the wide end, now on the left side of your chest, and fold behind the knot in the center. Use your left hand to hold the tie against the back of the knot. The wide end will be upside down and on your right side. Make sure you pull the tie as tight as you comfortably can so the knot looks clean when you're done. Step 5. Feed the wide end over the neck loop to make a symmetrical knot. Loop the wide end over the right side of the neck loop. Feed the tie through the top to the bottom of the loop, and pull the wide end down on your right side. The knot near your collar should have two symmetrical cone shapes on either side. If the shapes are not symmetrical, undo your tie and try starting again so you don't have a messy knot. Step 6. Pull the wide end over the front of the knot. Fold the wide end of the tie from right to left over the front side of your knot. Make sure your tie is pulled tight so the knot doesn't have any wrinkles or creases. Hold the tie in place with your left hand so it doesn't get loose. Make sure there are no twists in the tie or else your tie may hang or look backward. Step 7. Bring the tie through the bottom of the neck loop. Tilt your head up to make it easier to work with your tie. After you've covered the front of the knot, fold the wide end up through the neck loop and pull it through. The knot will now be completely covered so your tie looks neat and uniform. Step 8. Pull the tie down through the loop in front of the knot. Grab the wide end of the tie and make sure it's facing right side up. Push the end of the tie through the space between the knot and the part of the tie covering it. Hold the narrow end and pull the knot up toward your collar until it's comfortable to adjust the length. Tip. The wide end of your tie should reach your waistband when you're finished tying a Windsor knot. If the tie is too short, try again and shorten the narrow end. If it was too long, shorten the wide end. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and let us know what you want to see next.